Now the masked magician will perform one of magic's scariest illusions, the daggers of death. He moves into position. Then on his command, the flames explode. Pretty dramatic, huh? Now for the assistance. Even in the face of danger, these girls love to dance. But enough. It's time to get started. In this trick, the masked magician will throw razor-sharp daggers at one of his assistants. Let's hope his aim is good. It's not easy finding brave assistants these days. Ah, the daggers. They are real, and very sharp. One of the assistants walks up to the magician to wish him luck as he prepares to throw the first dagger. He rears back and lets it fly. Oh, that was close. He throws again. Even closer. She's not only beautiful, but brave, too. Now, two at a time. What? Marksmanship. Gee, I didn't know he was ambidextrous. Now his assistant hands him a blue balloon. Yes, this is an ordinary blue balloon. Looks like the magician is going for a big finish. With the balloon in her mouth, his assistant can't voice any objections. The target is spinning. Will he find his mark? You bet. Bullseye. Take another look. The dagger pierces the center of the balloon. And the masked magician has scored again. How did he do it? Here are the secrets. First, he never really throws the daggers. That would be far too dangerous. While your eyes are glued to the target, he simply palms the daggers and drops them into a secret pocket inside his jacket. See? Magical custom tailoring. So how did the daggers hit the target? Take a look. Our magical stagehand plays a key role. He hides behind the target holding a special device that shoots the daggers out from the back. He pulls back the dagger, waits for his cue, then releases it. It happens so quickly you assume that the dagger has been thrown into the target. Notice the simultaneous action. Now for the balloon. Again, a dagger is released from behind the target. But this one is a little different. See, it has a tiny pin on the end of the handle that pops the balloon. You may have seen this trick performed with hatchets or flaming knives at carnivals or county fairs. But this is how it's always done. Now for a classic illusion, the disappearing scarf. The magician takes a scarf and stuffs it into his fist. A little hocus pocus and presto, it's gone. Where did it go? 
Let's see that one more time. Here are the secrets. The scarf doesn't really go into the magician's hand. It is inserted into a hollow plastic egg that's concealed in his palm. See how it fits inside? The egg is attached to a rubber band that stretches all the way into the magician's jacket. From this angle, you can see that when he lets go of the egg, it magically disappears inside his coat. Take another look and see if you can catch the move. Did you see it? Watch closely. There it goes. When we freeze the picture, you can actually see part of the egg as it slips into the masked magician's jacket. Pretty tricky, huh? Now for an illusion known as the haunted house. Don't be scared. It's only a trick. Hmm. Smallest haunted house I've ever seen. The magician examines each of its walls. Supposedly, there's a ghost inside. Must be a small one. He opens the doors. Take a good look inside. You don't need x-ray vision to see all the way through this haunted house. What's this? A tiny rocking chair. He places the chair back inside the house and closes the door. A little abracadabra. The doors are opened. And somehow a tiny doll has materialized in the chair. He places it back inside the house and closes the doors. Again, he moves around the haunted house. When he opens the doors this time, we see that the tiny doll has grown into a larger doll. This is getting spookier by the minute. He puts the doll back inside. The doors are closed. A few magical gestures. A big puff of smoke. And suddenly the toy doll has magically transformed into a living doll. How did he do it? Don't worry about calling Scully and Mulder. Here are the secrets. With the lid removed, you can see that there is a small platform for our assistant to sit on. Her arms and legs fit into secret compartments in the walls of the house. The roof provides the extra space she needs to conceal the rest of her body. When the doors are opened, you can see all the way to the back of the house. What you don't realize is that the assistant is already hidden inside. She's the one that helps create all the magic. The assistant reaches her hands through the secret panels in the walls and replaces the empty chair with another chair that has a doll sitting in it. She quickly closes the panels. The magician opens the doors and there's the chair and doll. When the doors are closed, 